Why do we need science? Is it this discovery? Is it what science is telling us about the universe? Is it what science is telling us about ourselves? Where do we come from? What are we made from? Science must be part of culture. Science must be in the primary school. Big changes require big projects. A big educational project. Big changes require time. Big changes require education. I'll tell you three things that science has done for us in the way of culture. Number one, our chemical structure. Our chemical structure is shared by every single living thing on this planet, dead or alive. Since the very first bacteria populated our world nearly 4,000 million years ago, it is the same chemical structure. Number two, we all come from the same place, all of we, dead or alive, Billions of people share the same ancestry. We all come from here, from Central Africa, only a few thousand years ago. How do we populate the planet from here? A single family? By migration. And I have to say it loud so they can listen, because it's my migration. And we populated the entire planet, Asia, Europe, and then America, the continent, not the country. America is a continent. And what happens next, 500 years ago? The Europeans took the ships and discovered America. And they found their cousins living there. And they didn't recognize them. And look what's happening today because we don't recognize each other. <laughs> Chemically, we are 99.99% .99 identical. All humankind shares the same chemical structure to that level. And we have to acknowledge that. Every time a human being dies, part of us is dying too. Number three. This globe is about 30 million times smaller than the Earth. At this scale, what we call the planet, what we call the environment. The atmosphere of the Earth will be a couple of millimeters high at this scale. A couple of millimeters high at this scale. The space station is five millimeters high at this scale. The oceans are as deep as a thickness of a piece of paper here. That's the water that we have. That's the atmosphere that we have. Mount Everest here will be a quarter of a millimeter high, a quarter of a millimeter. We live, everything we know has lived in this little shell, less than a millimeter thick at this scale. This is what we call the environment. This is how fragile our environment is. So things like this is what science is telling us about. Things like this is what we have to put in every single person on this planet. Humans need have the right to knowledge and these simple things have to be part of our culture. We have to put that in the schools, we have to put that as widely as possible. Thank you very much.